My name is uh, Mark Stodola, and I'm the mayor of Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock is a great mid-sized mid southern city, uh, very diverse population. It's the capital city, of course, and it's uh, uh, got a diverse service sector and a tremendous uh, medical complex of, of hospitals and research that's going on and uh, several universities. We had many foreign corporations that decided to locate their uh, North American or American headquarters uh, in, the, in uh, Little Rock. They all decided that from a distribution standpoint, uh, Little Rock uh, uh, made a lot of sense. Uh, we have uh, port uh, with the Arkansas River and the Mississippi River, of course, um, a strong rail system, a highway system, and an airport that's about five minutes away from the downtown. Just as important as uh, what type of incentives there might be for an employment or for employers to locate in a city is uh, to really talk about the amenities of a city and the diversity of your neighborhoods, the quality of your neighborhoods, the character of them. From my perspective as a mayor, uh, in addition to those economic development opportunities and, and desires for recruitment, uh, my job is to try and create an environment for jobs uh, and to create, not to create the jobs, but to create the environment for that. So on the economic development piece, the quality of life issues that are important to employers when they're looking to site their businesses is a critical issue. And that ties very directly, and I don't think everybody always thinks about that, but it ties very directly into your neighborhoods, your schools, uh, the quality of your downtown. The young people today, uh, interestingly enough, are millennials. They look at the, you know, they decide where do I want to live, you know, what environment do I want to, do I want to be in, and then can I go find a job there, you know, and I think that's a real different issue. I mean, it used to be in my, my generation, we would go wherever the job was, and, uh, and I think that's changing. People are starting to put a value on, on that human element that is not just completely tied 110 percent to the work ethic. The situation in Little Rock is a very interesting situation. Um, we have a, a corridor along the river uh, with our convention center and a big concert hall uh, as well as uh, the Clinton Presidential Library that uh, was built and opened in 2005 and between that and some public investment along the riverfront uh, we were able to create um, uh, what's called the River Market District and it's uh, an area of revitalization of uh, old warehouse buildings as well as new high-rise condominiums, you know, very expensive condominiums that we've got some very um, good developers that went in and, and understood there was a market for that, <clears throat> um, built some new hotels and, and did the mixed use uh, analysis and so sometimes there's office, sometimes there's a hotel, condominiums above it, beautiful, beautiful views of the city and the Arkansas River. Um, uh, obviously a, a very high quality kind of an, an urban environment. At the same time and immediately next to that uh, river market going east and west is Main Street. It was the heart of not only the city but the heart of the state. It connected the state capital to the business district downtown. Main Street for the last 30 years has been pretty well uh, a vacant, uh, a vacant uh, space with several hundred thousand square feet. Uh, we made the mistake, and I, I went around then, but uh, the city made the mistake of creating a, a um, downtown mall and cut off the, cut off the transit corridors and cut off the, the ability for vehicles to be on the streets in, in the major intersection. And, um, and that worked for a couple of years, and then all of the big uh, retail outlets and retail stores, uh, people couldn't get to their stores, so they moved out to the midtown and out to the suburbs. Um, that really was the death knell for Main Street. Um, I think it's my job to try and revitalize Main Street and that's what we've been doing. We uh, pulled together all of the stakeholders of Main Street. Uh, the people who own property, the people who were into uh, the restoration or the preservation of the historic core, the, the beautiful facades and, and buildings that we had. Uh, the people who lived in adjacent neighborhoods, we pulled in all of these people and we began to look at what we could do. That has then turned into uh, a creative corridor where we're trying to synergize and assimilate all of our arts organizations in a, in a very concentrated corridor with loft living above for the artists and for whoever wants to live in that environment. We'll be able to create some of these creative placemaking plazas that we, that we want. Uh, and the interesting thing is we've been able to stimulate the most important thing, which is private sector development. And so we now, in the short course of two years, we've got about $60 million worth of new investment that is under construction right now on Main Street. In this 21st century uh, environment, you've got to make the economics of adaptive reuse work. 
and so you have to look at how you take buildings and re repurpose them for living in the 21st, 21st century. And it, and it really is a, a tremendous sustainable issue. Uh, I mean, the, the most sustainable building you can build is the one that's already built.